New research has revealed many imported foods that claim to be gluten-free actually contain the protein. Perth scientists have found dozens of products don't meet Australian standards, triggering calls for a rethink on labelling rules. With three daughters suffering celiac disease, it's crucial that the gluten-free labelled food Sophie Todd Hunter buys is exactly that. You have to trust a label. If it says gluten-free, in my mind, that is gluten-free. But a new study reveals that's not necessarily the case for products imported from overseas. Researchers tested 169 foods labelled gluten-free and found on Australian supermarket shelves but produced in Europe, Asia, North or South America and found 14% did in fact contain the protein which damages the small intestine of celiac sufferers. The levels of gluten found were about 1 20th those levels which are allowed in international circles. They cannot have any gluten at all. They have to have, it's zero. So a little bit is, is not good enough. While the amount detected was low, the standards in Australia are clear. To get the label, the product must have no detectable gluten. International standards, however, are more lax, and that's led to calls to tighten the World Health Organisation's guidelines, especially with the range of gluten-free products growing rapidly, along with the number of people choosing a gluten-free diet to manage weight loss, joint aches or skin rashes. But the bigger the market gets and the more products on supermarket shelves, the harder it is to regulate exactly what's inside them. Monitoring is somewhat too infrequent and largely led by industry, which is a somewhat unsatisfactory state of affairs. Alice Monfries, Nine News.